Anthony Polini's take on the concept was much more thought out than the one on Mike Lukushin. It's way evident if you just watch them back to back. Kirsten, he's a journeyman at best, while Spallini, he knows what he's doing. You want to know who I am? Do you really want to know? Unsavory to middle America. You're so far up your ass, Dax. You're just like everyone else. Point is, I think you should give the film a legitimate chance. I consider it canon to the larger Westworld franchise. Okay, yeah, sure. What bothered me was that he was right. Not about Spallini and his wider contributions to the Westworld franchise, but about me. I'm nothing but a bald-faced loser. Nothing special and I'm never going to be. Ever since I was a kid, I always knew something was missing. That thing was a beard. Everyone I knew with a beard was successful, handsome, and most of all, they were winners. Me, I live in their shadow. I work a terrible wage slave minimum wage job. The closest I have ever been to an attractive woman is through the works of Spallini. And what pisses me off most is everything I want Elijah has. Every day he shows up at my door as a constant reminder to me of my total inadequacy as a person. I wish that could be me. Dude, I met the weirdest guy at the CC, bro. Dude is a freak! Let me tell you, bro. He said if we really want to party, we gotta go to the woods. Alright, that's great, but it sounds like a good way to get killed. Dude. If anything happens, it's two on one, and we all know crackheads don't do anything that crazy. Anyway, like, it could just be a good story to tell it everyone. You seem to think that by meeting this guy in the woods who, by your own admission, is probably a crack cocaine addict, will somehow magically change your life. Nah, dude, you clearly don't know how to have a good time. He seemed like a good guy, like, he, he wouldn't try anything. And plus, dude, chill out. Like, addiction, that's a mental illness. Like, he, he didn't seem too down bad. That's a great way to try to spin this and all, but I don't... I'm gonna spin it how I need to, because frankly, dude, you're stuck in the mud. I think you need to live a little bit. Perhaps Elijah was right, and it's time to just live a little. I'm not going anywhere, sitting in Grandpa's basement without any friends. I need to socialize and network. Perhaps this guy isn't as much of a crackhead as Elijah said. Dude, I'm telling you. Fuck! Are you okay? Oh, damn, dude. Oh, fuck, I think I broke it, dude. I don't think I can go to the woods. I'm in the middle of the woods and I'm probably covered in ticks and the crackhead's hiding. If he's even here, he's probably gonna stab me. Where are you, shaman? I'm here, my boy. What you will see will blow your mind. You're the shaman? Yes, I am the one you are seeking. To describe the coming 30 minutes would be difficult. I don't know how to describe this man except perhaps the most storied man I know. He was odd, but seemed to understand life in a way I could never hope to. He respected Mother Nature, and I respected him in a way I could never hope to understand. And after this shocking display of gratitude to the grounds that created us, the shaman dropped some wisdom on me. I have a beard. Everybody has beards. You don't. That's no bueno. Here, take this. And then, and I totally shit you not, I am telling it just how it happened, like magic, the shaman disappeared. The 
It took me days to finally pull the trigger and gain the confidence to use the formula. I know there is some level of irony to that given the fact that I had spent years hoping for the day to come where I would have my own beard, but in fact it felt like I was taking my own life and being reborn, baptizing myself in the holy water that is generic hair growth formula that some shaman in the woods gave me. Soon I'll have the car. The confidence. The money. With any luck, I will even have a girl to call my girlfriend. To be born again, I must first end Jax. First, I must exfoliate. My skin must be smooth so that I can grow a perfect beard. It's ironic how the universe destroys only to rebuild. To become who I am meant to be, Jax must die. I will be reborn a new man, no longer the man, but the man. The fucking man. My daddy always said the most well-groomed beards came from men who shaved. It's time. This is who I am now. Who I've become. Hey dude, what do you think of my beard? <laughs> dude, what is on your face? <laughs>